Hello, I'm Michaela. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Today we're here to talk about an anime that I stumbled upon sometime this year, I believe. And I was just picking an anime cause on Funimation app because I think it's closing down soon because, you know, the whole Funimation and Crunchyroll merge. But anyway, the anime that I'm talking about today is Visual Prison. Now, if you're not a fan of a lot of singing, this is not the anime for you. Literally, there's three to four songs in the first episode. But before we really get into the plot, let's talk about how they came up with this idea for this anime. Now, excuse me. <clears throat> According to an article written by Rafael Antonio P. Pineda, I think. It's supposed to portray, portray Visual K musicians as vampires. The Visual K genre is a subgenre of Japanese rock musicians, or Japanese rock, characterized by elaborate visual presentations, gothic aesthetics, and balladic, sorry, melody writing, and musicians who present androgynously yeah <laughs> so there's your little history on a little bit about Japanese rock just a little bit <laughs> now let me talk about some rules and stuff that goes on in the anime all right once a year the vampire to offer the most beautiful song to the scarlet moon will gain great power visual prison is the name of the competition if you collect 10 crystals from the Scarlet Moon, also known as Scarlet Tears, and if you win the visual prison, you can make a miracle happen. They can change the vampire world. The three main groups are Lost Eden, Eclipse, and Oz. Now, two important rules about the vampire society. Vampires aren't allowed to feed on humans. And they can't let the humans know about the vampire society. Here's another rule that might sound familiar from other shows or movies. Vampires can't come into a home without being invited in. They use makeup to disguise themselves so audiences to realize... Oh, so audiences don't realize that they're vampires. Apparently, it's impossible to turn women into vampires, and okay, now let us talk about a deeper part of the story. Story, story. Um, major spoiler alert. You've been warned. Okay. So, ONG, or ONG, who happens to be a damper, which is half human and half vampire. Spoiler alert, again. Gil knew Angie's or Angie's uh, parents since they were friends. Unfortunately, they got into an accident and passed away. When Gil tried to save Katomi to respect Yutaka's wishes, Katomi is the wife of Yutaka and hold on. Katomi is the mother of Angie. All right. And she was pregnant at the time. La, la, la. You got it, got it. Are you staying with me? And Angie received blood through her and became a damper. So there you go. That was a mind-blowing fact when I found that out. <laughs> so Gil is kind of like a parent. Blood parent. I believe that's what they use in the anime. Now, since it's a music anime... Here's two songs that are my favorite from the anime, but just little snippets of it. The first one, Guilty Cross. It's 
second one, the opening song, which is also the song that Oz sings multiple times throughout the show, but I never get tired of hearing it. Alright, did you enjoy those songs? And I'm pretty sure I put it on the screen. My favorite part when he does that that note. I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody do a certain note in the US or anywhere. Anywhere else. It's just, uh, I don't know. I can't do it, but it sounds amazing every time I hear it. I'm always waiting for it to hear it. It's like, uh, okay, I'm sorry. It's so exciting. I love this. I love this show. I wish there was more of it. I'm surprised more people weren't talking about it. So that's why I have to be the one to bring awareness of it and bring you to it. Just, you have to watch it. I think it's still on Funimation. I think Funimation is still functioning. But if you can't somehow watch the anime, at least go check out the songs. I'm sure they're on YouTube. I will find links for you and put it in the description box below so you can check those out. And huh, this was a great anime. I just can't stop going on about it. And did you see those outfits? That is all kinds of cosplay ideas and just, I want to dress up like them. It's wonderful. All right, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you know what I'm doing to stay updated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the anime somehow or at least the songs once again on YouTube. And don't forget to comment down below and tell me what you think of this anime. Will you check it out? I hope you do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm Michaela. I will see you later. Bye.